Hello friends, welcome to the Marriage Minute with Mary. I hope that this brings you a little bit of perspective and hope. So today I want to talk to you about letting go. I know, I don't know about you, but it used to frustrate me so much when I was struggling with a certain aspect of my marriage and people would just tell me, let go and let God. Okay, well, it sounds great in theory, but honestly, it felt just as possible as someone telling me to go touch the moon. For years, I tried to shake things off, but between my personality, my control issues, and my fear of what would happen if I actually did let go of control in the situation, kept me wandering in the desert for what seemed like 40 years. I am 43 this year, so maybe it was 40 years. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna tell you my secret to letting go. Are you ready? Repeat after me. It's not you, it's me. It's not you, it's me. You see, when we're struggling in our marriage, no matter whose fault it is, our peace and our mental, spiritual, and physical health is the only thing that's completely in our hands. We don't have as much control over our husbands as we would like, but we do have control over the things that we choose to do to pursue healing in those three areas. When you're feeling lost, alone, out of control, and losing hope, choose to shift your focus from him and us to me. Join that Zumba class that you've been hearing about. Say yes to leading that Bible study or serving on the prayer team. Don't be afraid to hire a coach and a counselor to help you navigate through your mental and emotional health. Start that blog or business that God has placed on your heart. You see, I truly believe that most marriages struggle because of misplaced focus, expectations, and trust. We don't just magically merge into one on our wedding day. We must do the work to become one. Our only job, girls, our only job is to keep becoming the woman and the wife that we were created to be. The rest is up to him.